Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sylvia and my channel is all about art and craft. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, I was going to um, show you guys how I've been going with my challenge being creative on a daily basis. So I'm going to show you guys some of the photos of some of the things that I've done. Now, on day one, I decided to do some bookmarks. So I've done six bookmarks here. Kept four of them pretty simple. They were fun to do. You know, a bit of colouring in, a bit of putting a bit of sparkle into it. But then you also have two of them, like the top middle one and the bottom left hand bookmark. They have a three D effect. And what I've done basically is just die cut um, a butterfly out for them, coloured it in and then stuck it on but had the wings up a little bit. And honestly they came out pretty cool, I love them. So that was day one. Day two I did a card, um, I didn't know what sort of card I wanted to do. So I just made a positive card which can be used for any occasion and on this one I just used an embossing folder, embossed the card and the sentiment in the right hand corner, I made that one up quite some time ago, I was just playing around. I did the die cutting and you know and the stamping and colouring in side of things so I decided to use that on there as well. Wasn't a hundred percent happy the way it turned out but hey I was still being creative so, and sometimes things don't turn out the way we imagined it but don't go knocking it. So on day three, I did a paint, started doing a painting. Now this particular painting, I'm going to actually enter into a competition, which also goes into, it's kind of a competition slash exhibition. So I'm going to get quite a bit of exposure. exposure. And um, that particular day, I actually had quite some time available to me to really get into it. So I got quite a bit done but not anywhere near finished because there's still a lot of detailing to do on it. So that was day three. Day four I did another card being an anniversary card and I kept it pretty simple and I actually loved the way it turned out. Um, it's a die cut and some metallic gold cardstock where I cut out the flower pattern with the die cut and I used a little bit a strip of vellum and turned that into a band and just put some diamantes on it and a little sentiment in the middle with the happy anniversary on it. So day five my husband and I were talking and I turned around and I said to him I said you know, with me doing the markets, it's actually a good way to advertise that I do classes and workshops. And we had a core flute floating around and so I decided clean it up, wax some paint on it and be creative on it. So I did start on day five, didn't get it all done because me and handwriting, well, we don't really see eye to eye these days. My handwriting is pretty shocking, so I took my time doing it and did the best I could. So that was the start of that. Day six, I did my visual planner for 2020, and I had a lot of fun putting that together. I put a lot of thought into it on what I wanted in it and kept it reasonably basic and there is a video that I did uh, not that long ago and I'll leave a link up the top there um, if you want to watch it. 
Now day seven, I went back to my core flute and I finished it off. And boy, did I end up falling in love with it. The one thing you probably can't really see in the picture is I actually put some little uh, diamantes on some of the letters on it just to brighten it up a little bit and I actually used some artificial flowers I pulled them apart and then put them back together with glue you know one at a time onto the core flute and I tell you what it ain't gonna come off so you beauty but it sort of gave it that 3D dimension as well which I thought was kind of cool because it sort of makes it stand out a little bit you know to catch people's attention hey check this out so love that now day eight I didn't have really any time to actually make something but I had to use my creative mind because I've with my die cuts because I've got quite a few of them I just had them in a sheet protector and every time I wanted to use them I had to literally take the lot out and try and figure out you know which one I want to use so it wasn't really working and because of the fact that I'm sorting everything out in my craft room I so I thought okay I've got to come up with an idea so what I did was I went down to the two dollar shop or dollar shop whatever you want to call it, it cost me more than two dollars anyway it cost me three dollars per sheet but I've got the magnetic um, A4 size sheets with the adhesive on the back and what I've done is I actually stuck some cardstock, an A4 sheet cardstock on the back of it where the adhesive is and once I decide whether I'm going to keep it as an A4 size or cut it down a size or two um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do some die cutting and I'm going to put the actual piece onto the stick it onto the cardstock so that way because I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing like I've been doing with everything else categorizing it then I can just sort of flick through and sort of go oh yeah I'll, I like this one I'll use this one type thing so it's going to be easier on my eyes trying to figure out which die cut I want to use so that was day eight day nine since I had so much fun playing around with the artificial flowers I decided to make a shaker card now this was my very very first shaker card and yes I could have put a lot more stars in it um, to make it even more effective but I didn't I also could have you know put an image in the background which I didn't I didn't really plan it or anything like that but I still thought hey this came out pretty cool and all I done was I ended up putting some flowers together and stuck them onto the card but that's as far as I've got because I ran out of time so on day 10 I finished it off by sticking some little diamond acrylics onto the onto the card you know nice purple ones different shades and I also added the little sentiment which says on your special day and made up a couple of ribbons and stuck them on and that's pretty much all the time I had that day so at least the cart got done and it's ready to be sold at the markets you beauty so day 11 I went back to my painting and I started working on the car more and it was mainly like where I've got all the magenta color you know I was putting all the shading and stuff like that in there in order to create some effects so that's still a work in progress and the competition is not till February so I still got a little bit of time left to finish it off now day 12 which was Sunday I um, decided I was going to do the markets on Sunday because the Saturday markets 
were closed for two weeks and the week before I've been home all weekend so I thought you know it'll be nice for me to go last Sunday instead of my husband and I got down to the markets about quarter past three in the morning because you've got to be there nice and early in order to get a good spot and what's the best thing you can do while you're waiting that time of the morning turn the little light on in the car and start being creative so I used my time wisely so I did that now day 13 I decided to do a birthday card where again I did some embossing and I did some die cutting as well for the one for the sentiment and the butterfly and the butterfly again is in 3D the wings are actually sort of sticking up a little bit because I, what I did was I actually put a little bit of double sided foam tape underneath so that they would stick up a little bit and that's how far I got with the card on that day day 14 I ended up doing the inside of the card and all I did was I used the the stamp with the butterfly and coloured the butterfly in and then I used the glossy accent on the butterflies to give them a little bit of a dimension and I reckon it, it looks really really cool the way it came out put a stamp on the inside saying fill your life with love so that was day 14 day 15 I decided that although I've got all my stamps categorized in one folder that it might actually be a lot easier if I had two more folders one for my sentiments and one for my borders so what did I do I decorated a couple of folders so they're all ready to go now today being day 16 actually it was yesterday sorry yesterday being day 16 Yes, there's no photo, but you can see what I've been doing. And it's right there. And this is just one small section, okay? What I've basically done is I went through everything, rearranged everything. My husband ended up um, putting another bracket down on the side so it would make it nice and strong on that side because originally... This was the last one, but putting all these up here, the shelf was bowing down. So we put extra support there, what well he did, so that I could have them over to that side. And the reason I wanted them on that side, and this is where I had to think about how I was going to make things work for myself. So again, I had to be creative because... It was sort of like, it was very overwhelming as well because there's so many new things in here um, and you can imagine when you pull everything off and you just got this massive big pile of mess really and um, so yeah, it was sort of like, you know, put everything in different areas, give myself more space walking space because I was running out of walking space and I actually hurt myself as well so um, yeah it was time to sort it out so I did that um, and again as I, I did have to use my creative mind because I needed to work out how I can make it work for myself now because I'm sitting just over there and I have been doing a lot of cards, it made sense to just have it sitting right there. So all I have to do is get up, take two steps, and I can grab whichever folder I need. And what I've also done is I've moved my um, guillotine over on this side. I've got my cuddle bark, I've got my scoring board. Everything is right in this area here. So, 
Still got a lot more to do in here because we've still got to sort out another set of shelving. But what I'm actually going to do is I'll end up doing a video um, to show you guys around my craft room um, so you can see all the changes that have been happening. And uh, yeah, so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give us a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video. And by the way, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already done so, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified of videos that I'm going to be putting up because there's going to be some kind of cool, exciting videos coming. So anyhow, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.